Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. We're currently over here on Lost Island. I went ahead and transferred from the island because there's some stuff over here we need to do to finish progressing over there. All we have left is the alpha version of the Overseer. And we need to go ahead and breed up some stuff over here to get ready for that. We need to get some of our otters that we got tamed over on Genesis. That way we can take some down in the cave with us. It'll help out with the kind of the temperature difference in there, right? Because of the lava and then the ice cold. I also want to breed up some of our X versions of the Moses because we're needing a bunch of alpha parts. And quite a bit of those are in the water. We got to kill an alpha squid, alpha Moza. Uh, we need the alpha leads, stuff like that. And the Moza that we have will be the best part because it's going to be extremely tanky and hopefully we'll be able to survive with it. I've done quite a bit of stuff over here. I went ahead and cleaned up our storage a little bit, seeing how we're getting so many tames and whatnot. I got rid of our junk tab and killed off all those other basils and stuff that we did with the mutator and the transmutator. So all those are gone, and oh my gosh, the amount of oil and meat we got from that. Where's our oil? We are at like almost 6,000 oil. And our prime meat is ridiculous, man. That's all we're eating right now is prime meat because holy crap, do we have a bunch. I set out some more of our little shorter pets. We're going to have to do something with these guys soon. We're going to need to build a little enclosure for them or something. It's hard. It's hard whenever I spawn in to get across all these guys. There's what, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including Wingman. And I still want to do breeding on some of these. So that's something we'll have to work with soon. Went ahead and brought our trophy over that we got. Kind of like it, man. I'm hoping we get another one for Alpha. If we do, we're going to put it right here. It'll be nice right in front of the two two windows. So it kind of works out. So let's see. For today, grab some stuff. I brought some of our teams over too. Our Arc Editions ones. I brought the Cryo Dude over. So we've got three of them. And there's still a bunch more of those to tame. Alright, so we want... Wait, why do we have two? Oh, that's right. We have two of the males. That's a 194. That's a 140. We'll do the 190. Wait, 194. Okay, that's the one that we bred. We'll do that one as well. And these are the Moses. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll get that kind of sorted out. We need to make us a... We might have one. A tech feeding trough for out there. It's one thing I forgot to put out on our dock. We do have one. Nice, nice. We'll grab a little bit of meat for it. Actually, we're going to need quite a bit of meat for breeding, especially the Moses. I should have a saddle in here for him. That's Megalodon. That's Moza. Okay, I think one should be fine. Hopefully. Kind of nice having all this stuff out here. Oh, man. Kind of getting it set up over here. Oh, yeah. So somebody left me a comment, too. Ever since we moved the generators all the way to the back, they weren't reaching all the way out here. So I did put one. It's kind of hard to see. It's right up over here under the dock. I know it's in the water, man. Electricity, really close to water. It's never a good thing. But we do have power all the way out here now. My turret wasn't working or anything else. And I think for the feeding trough, I just put it right here. That should be good enough there. Be able to reach everything, you know? So it should be fairly simple. I'll probably get one of the mutators set out here and some element in it just to raise them up faster. I think that's... That's something that'll definitely help out. So let's go over here. I think this is empty too, right? I need to make some of these. And we need to turn this on to auto grab them. Where's it at? Newborn auto trap. Enable. Cool. So that is set. I think we're going to do all the breeding out here. Including the otters. We'll do the Moses in here. And then while they're doing their thing, we'll do the otters up top. Kind of give us an idea if it's going to work out here with the way our, our setup is and stuff. I don't see anything in the water, though. I know we were killing off a couple. Oh, we've got saddles on both of them. I was killing off quite a bit of the regular fish. I saw the turret doing that before I started recording. So let's go ahead and enable mating on you. They might be close enough. They might not. I should probably grab some fins. They are. Cool. So they are close enough. And it should be in range to pick them up. So let's go back to base. We'll grab some fins. We'll grab some more of the soul traps. And we'll start working on some of the otters. I can't believe we lost a lot the otter that we had on our shoulder. I didn't even <laughs> notice it when we were in the tech cave. Let's do... Let's do 30. 
and get those crafting up. And I think, where would it be? Over here? We should have some fins. We do. Oh my gosh, they are almost broke. Let's go ahead and repair them real quick. Ah, oh, dude, I miss being back on this base. It's so nice having everything so close. What was I making up? Polymer? I repair you. Get that crafting. All right, so we're good on fins. We're good on our soul traps. I think you get two for each one on those. To check my element in here. Could probably put a couple more stacks. I brought some more over, and it is transferring, so we should be good on that. All right, so let's get our otters out. No swimming today, please. This is a no swimming day. I'm just saying, just so you know. Okay, baiting on you. I don't want to pick up the <laughs> salient they're on. So that should pick up the otters as well, which is kind of good. Nice. So they're doing their thing. You should have a gestation period, I believe, right? I'm kind of curious about the colors. I'd like to have them to where, of course, we got some blue, right? I like the blue off of this one. And I kind of like the white on the top. This one's almost got like a blue color. I think that's a normal Moza color, though. Like this one. Ah, dude, this one's going to be fantastic. I don't know what our, how close our stats are. I don't think I put points into these. So 19,000 and 304. Oh, that's right. It was so low. So we definitely need to get all of these stats from that one. We, we do need to, we need to get some air is what we need to get. I forgot that one was such a low level compared to the other ones. All right, gestation period. And how are you guys? You guys should be a live birth as well. So that's going to take a minute. Cool. All right, so got about 40 seconds left. We might have a mutator in here we might not we don't I think I trashed them all because I didn't want to use them but I do want to use them for speeding up the growth that's about it is it this one it's this one regular mutator not the transmutator all right so we have that and then we're gonna need there's our elements I think we have enough of that one take two stacks and this should make them raise up a lot more. The main thing we got to do is change out that one Moza, our low-level one. We'll put this over on this side. And then we want to change our range. I totally forgot about that. Whenever we were over on the island. I think it goes up to 50. Don't really need it to go 50. Let's go ahead and tone it down just a little bit. Just in case we mess up with something. There we go. It'll be everything out here, but not in there. So that is set. And let's change this over to the growth one. Almost, almost. Causes non-adult dinos to grow more rapidly. That's the one that we want. How are you guys doing? Gestation of 40 seconds, and you should be done. You are minute and a half for another new one what did we get <gasps> we got triplets oh dude so that is not bad okay i'll tell you what before we do breeding anymore on this what is this one so that's a female so the main thing we need is our fins <laughs> we need a male oh dude that kind of sucks all right so we're looking at 19 and 304 let's see if any of these stats are better they might not be 19 what we do 318 304. Oh, that's right. His damage was higher, wasn't it? Okay, cool. So we got the better damage. Let's go ahead and definitely turn off mating on these. We're going to take your saddle. We'll save you for the moment. Just in case. I want to see what the colors are, too, because that's the other thing I want off of the female for sure is... I mean, the colors. It's blue, dude. We can't, we can't not do the blue. So, 2-4, field 5 is blue. Oh, we got extra blue on this one. Okay, tell you what, we're going to have to throw some of these out. They are all the same stats, right? They are. So, what we might do is raise all of these guys up. Just because it'll give us a quicker chance of getting a better male. So, 
let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. I mean, we got the time. We've got the element. Might as well do this the most efficient way we can. All right, so throw you out over there. I want to see what they look like for sure, too. All right, let's make sure she is on. She wasn't. Food amount. I always like doing 25. And then I think that is all. Where is your range? Okay, plenty of room. Wanted to make sure there was enough room. All right, let's look at some colors. All right, so I do see the blue there. So we're good. We're good. Oh, my gosh. I think it's so big compared to the little ones. Cool. Let's do the growth pulse. Get those guys raised up. And I think we'll retire the original female. That'll speed that process up. Oh, you know what? I should have waited and checked for a little otter. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. We can always run another pulse. So we've got another male. I don't think I need to do too much on these guys with changing them out. The main thing I need on these guys is health. So this one is... That's the original. This is another one. I think this was a lower level one. So it's cool. I don't need to worry too much about this. We're going to just take whatever we get with these. We'll probably breed up one or two more. Let's go ahead and throw this guy out over here so I don't lose him. Maybe we should keep all the otters the same. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. Nothing's better than a baby otter. Except for a baby shine horn. I'm just saying, those things are they're fantastic, man. Alright, so there's these guys. Looking a little rough. So we should get some pretty good stats out of these as far as damage goes. We're going to get the movement speed boost as well. And then we'll kind of just transfer some of these over there. And then do breeding as well. I don't want to do breeding all on this side too because it's going to be kind of crowded over here once we start using the nanny and the growth pulse and stuff. So let me let these guys get raised up, moved over, get set. We'll set all three of them on breeding and go from there. All right, so this is going to get a little bit crowded over here. Not close enough, or too close. All right, there we go. Cool. So the stats on these guys, let me get some air. Probably should have grabbed an air tank, I'm just saying. So the stats came out to be a level 212. We're up to almost 23,000 on the health, which is good. We're at 1,400 on the stamina. Weight is at 2,500. Holy crap, dude. And 373 on the damage. Plus, we got the movement speed. So these should turn out fairly decent. Let's do mating on you. Let's get a little bit of air. Somebody's going to be crying forward to here in a second. Mating on you. You should be close enough. And this is the one I'm not too sure. We're kind of close to his fins. Yep, we're good. Cool. So we'll get three out of these guys. Hopefully we'll grab another male. If we do, we'll probably just change the male out. And then we should be good on Moses. We need to kill this one off. Let's make a tab here. We'll definitely need it in this one. <gasps> what happened to our otter? Oh, I didn't have any fish for him. Little buddy. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't even have an axe to get rid of his his carcass. Oh, man. Okay, so, hmm. <laughs> That's a thing. Let's uh take those off. Oh, dude. Well, at least he wasn't a fantastic one with good mutations. That would have sucked. We don't have any fish meat. How do we not have fish meat? Oh, dude, we got to go do some fishing real quick. Okay, cool. So, let's do this. Mm, um, Probably just take him. Close your eyes, guys. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, there's some fish out here. I know there should be some mantas around here. I know, I know. I don't have my air tank on, so we got to be kind of quick about this. Some dolphin will do. I'm sure the little otters will like that. Oh, wait, that's regular meat. They will not like that. Let's get this one. They always give a ton of meat. Is there another one by chance? Why do dolphins not give fish meat? Aren't they like a fish, technically? Kind of? Sort of? Oh, we got to watch out for the other kind of fish, too. Those guys. I wonder what they give. Let's check real quick while we're here.
Awesome, awesome. 500 raw fish meat. That is terrifying. They are so close to my base. I think we're going to have to set up a lot more turrets. Seems how we got this mod going. Oh, man, I did not think about that, dude. Where's base at? Should be right here, right? I mean, they're a little ways away, but they are fairly close. I mean, look at the Moses. You can see them really good from over there. All right, let's, uh, let's get up here. I'm probably not going to cook the meat just because... I mean, we're just breeding. I'll cook it later. A lot of people ask why I cook my meat. It's mainly because it lasts longer. I know it lasts forever. Wait, we got... Where do we get pelt from? Was that from the otter? But it normally lasts a lot longer. That's why I uh, I always cook it so it don't have a, that much spoiled meat, you know? All right, so we're good for the otters now. Oh, man, I can't believe that. Like I said, though, luckily we're not doing those for anything except for... Just one to have. Wait, are you guys? We should have another one. We do. <laughs> Fantastic. He will get the growth pulse once those guys are done. I know, I know. It's <laughs> it's another little one. Did this one get a mutation? He's got a different color back. He did. What did he go into though? So weight is 49 and 248. Maybe health? I don't know what the health is on... Well, no? I don't know. That's kind of cool, though. He's got a little red stripe on his back. Nice, man. Nice. All right, so there is... I heard the sound for a Moza. It is a female. No mutations. We're not going to keep it. Pretty bad stats. Let's move that to there. And the other two should not be far behind. Wait, did I not put... I didn't. I was say, we made up a ton of them. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, get my fins on and go check on them. Oh, we got some males. Nice. Okay, so we got the good health, the good stamina, and the good damage. That one is horrible. Oh, it's got the very low health on that one. All right, cool. So let's go ahead, trash that one. We'll keep this one. Let's... Where's the male? Which one's the male? I think it's you. Turn that back on so we can see. All right, give me this. We'll do that. We'll raise up the male. We'll do the growth pulse for the otter as well. Looks like we got the color scheme from the female as well. I think that'll be fine. It's got some... Minus 20. Minus 21. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. It's it's fine, man. It's fine. I'm going to be here all day if I'm sitting here trying to decipher that stuff. All right, throw you out here. Take a look at you. Nice, man. Nice. I think that'll work out good. It's kind of all white and then the blue and then the kind of dark black color that it is anyways. So it'll, it'll work. I think we're in range of everything. All right, growth pulse. That should speed up everything, including that dude. Nice. I'll probably go ahead and... Since we got a mutation, I mean, we might as well keep the mutation, and I'll take... What was that, a male? I'll go ahead and take that male, and we'll use that one down in the cave with us. The main thing we want on him is health. <laughs> I don't want him dying, man. I really don't want him dying. 2,000 on health is not bad. Let's put a little bit into his weight, too. Pick you up there. Tell you what, let's just... We'll do this. I was going to change his name. That's fine, though. We'll keep him there, and that's going to be the one for us. All right, so we just got to wait for him to raise up. Put him over here, and we'll probably breed all three of those females again, since they're the same. I don't think I'm going to change them out for any more generations. We'll just go ahead and... Whatever we get out of those, we'll take those back to the island. And I have to do some leveling on them. I also got two more levels on myself. So we were 125, now we're 127. It is super weird seeing that I have a level up. And I kind of put one into... One into weight to make that 500. And then the other one I put into... What was it? Food? I think food I want to get up. That way I can keep my... My custom food and everything because they fill you up so much and give you so much food. That way it's not too much of a waste, you know? It'll make life a little bit easier. 
nice rainy day. Oh, we got a thunderstorm. Well, I'll tell you what, we're out on a metal platform. I'm just saying, probably not a good thing. All right, so I think Junior's about ready. Let's get a saddle on him. So his stats came out pretty good. Same as the other ones. 373 on the damage and then almost uh, 23,000 on the health. Try to get him right in the middle there. And let's take a look, too. Seeing how we're going to have a newborn here. The next one we're going to keep. And I want to do some leveling. We'll see if there's any of the alpha squids or anything around. There might not be. We might have to get all of those off of the island, which is fine. I'd like to get some levels in them if we can while we're here. So you're mating. You're mating. So are you. So it looks like everybody's in range. All right. Let me get a couple little ones. And then we'll, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go up and take a look. Everybody is mating. Let's go look on the scanner, see if there's even anything on this map. I know spawning in some of the stuff is kind of weird on this map. Just because it's it's a new map and all. And some creatures I haven't seen. But we might get lucky. Oh, we got an Alpha Moza. Okay. Those are terrifying. I definitely want to get a higher level on ours before we go for that. And those are all over where our old base used to be. Oh, there's an Alpha Leeds. We do need one of those. So we're like right here on this island. So that's kind of over in the desert. Oh, dude. That is... That's right over there. Right on those islands you can barely see in the distance. So let's try that. Well, I don't know what level it is, but it's an Alpha Leeds. They aren't usually too bad. <laughs> We're going to die whenever I say that. <laughs> it happens every time. But we'll go ahead and probably head over there with our, our new board. It'll be some good levels. And that'll give us one of the pieces of the blubber that we need to do the tech cave. It'll be one thing off the list. And then I didn't see any squids on there. So we need the squid eye and we need a couple of the Moza teeth. We have one. So we have enough for one attempt. The main thing we need is the squid eye from the island. All right, so it looks like one of these had a set of twins. I don't know if it was the males or the females. I don't see any mutations. None of them. All right, so let's take this one here, and we'll leave those like they are. I'll let those just go, and that way I can let them kind of do their thing. If we get a mutation, we'll get a mutation. We'll throw this guy out. Let it raise up, and I want to see if we have anything that we can make a better saddle for it. I don't know if we do. Cool. So that will take a minute. Let's get this guy off of the platform. I'll tell you what. Maybe we should take him with us just in case. He's tanky enough to take out the alpha leads. That way, if we get into a bad spot with our Moza, seeing how it is fresh and new, we can kind of save it. Do I have a blueprint? I do. Holy crap, we are not building that one. That is a very good saddle, though. 20,000 on the metal. We definitely don't have that. Tell you what, I might be able to farm stuff up for that before we go back to the island to do the alpha squid and stuff. We might have enough of this. Go ahead and try it. Let's see if we can pull stuff over. Oh, dude, that'd be fantastic if we do. One of you. All we're messing is metal. We are crafting some. So that's going to take a little bit. Hmm. All right, well, this is going to take a little bit for that guy to get fully raised. I'll probably force feed him some food or bring the snow owl out. I don't know if I can get the snow owl close enough. Did you drop? We'll take it. But I'll go ahead and get him healed up, and then by then, it'll be morning time. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon. I do not want to be in the water after an alpha, especially with all those new creatures down there at nighttime. So I'll see you in the morning. I'll have that one ready, and we should have enough stuff to make that saddle. Throw it on them. We'll get us an alpha leads and call that a day. <laughs> oh, man, I hope it works that easy. It'd be nice. Just saying. All right, it's bright and early the next morning. Let's go ahead, make up our saddle, and we're ready to go. Nice. Soon as this is done. We're going to be out of a lot of stuff, I think. Because that was a ton of pearls and everything else. Let's take that. Let's put this back where it goes. Try to keep everything set nice. All right. We got everything? I think we do. 
eat a little bit more food. I think we'll just leave those guys on breeding, like I said, and I'll check them out whenever we come back. So I haven't put any levels into it. Let's go ahead and do one in two damage. There is our saddle. And I do got an air tank. I totally forgot to repair it, though. Is that another level? It is. I almost thought it wasn't going to get the 100%. It was stuck at 99% for the longest. And as soon as I got done healing it up, it got to the 100%. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird, man. It glitches out every now and then. It is still kind of early in the morning to see down here. But let me get over here. We'll locate the squid. Try to take it out. <laughs> try not to die. I think we'll be fine. We've got a good bit of health on this guy. Like I said, we can always throw the shadow main out. It's like a last resort and a backup. I'm going the wrong direction. All right, so we do need some more Alpha Megalodon fins. So we do 522 a bite. It's not too bad. I do like the colors on that Alpha Meg, though, man. That gray and red. Like I said, man, I'm not a big fan of red at all. But some situations, it looks good. When it's on, like, gray or black or, like, a dark gray. I don't know what level this guy is. It's going to be taken. Oh, we need uh, we need air. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that's apparently it's a thing. I don't want to lose too much of our health before we find the alpha leads. I don't know if those do damage. I haven't killed one or killed one in a very long time. We're only taking like 18 or 53 or 43 damage, something like that. That's probably because of that saddle. So man, just imagine that 200 armor saddle. We'll be taking like no hits from anything. Mainly need that for the alpha Moses because, oh dude, you saw a couple videos back in the Lost Island playthrough. Dude, we got, we got wrecked by one of the Alpha Moses, and it wasn't even a high-level one. I think it was like an 85 or something like that. Holy crap, dude! He's barely getting bloody. I bet he's like a max level. <laughs> Watch it be like a level 20 or something only. So the cool part is, we should actually get some good levels on the Moses from this, and for ourselves. I can't wait till we can get ours maxed out because there's some really good stuff at level 135 in the S plus stuff that I really want to mess with, like the tech refrigerator. This guy's almost dead. We are so out of stamina. We're starting to take Torpor because we're so far out of stamina. We're going to get a ton of prime meat. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got two fins out of that. We didn't get a level. We got like half a level. He got 65 levels. Dude, you got to be kidding me. This is a lot of it's going to go into damage. And I'll probably only get his health up maybe around 40 or 50,000. I'm going to wait to put the rest of those points in. I'd really like to hold on to them. And if I put them in now, it's going to mess it up because I can't heal them, right? I don't want to have to go back to base and try to heal them for <laughs> 20 or 40,000 points. All right, now back on the hunt for that Moza. I didn't even see what level that shark was. I'll have to look back whenever I edit the video. All right, so we are actually over by the desert now. The one that was over there, I had to go back and check the coordinates. I even had to get a GPS. It turns out it spawned inside the island, so we can't actually get to it. However, the other one that we saw is right here. It's a whole level one. Do they always spawn in at a level one? Doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and take them out, get our stuff. 1300 damage that is not bad at all man oh dude he's behind us though so that's gonna be an issue so oh dude that was simple man i was <laughs> i was worried we were gonna die from that oh we got a ton of fish meat wait what is this a captain's hat skin is that new oh we got five of these i thought it was gonna be like a you get one and that's it well let's head back to base we'll go ahead and throw this into the grill, might as well keep that. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than what it was. Are they always that squishy? I don't know. I don't kill very many alpha leads. And we only got one point off of it, so we didn't really get that much. But I tell you what, the amount of time I've spent looking for that other one that was over there, it's it's ridiculous. I did see another squid, though, when I was looking. It was only a level 100. And then there was a couple pleasies along the way. I didn't see what level those were. I was kind of occupied on trying to find the leads. But, at least we have five attempts at the Alpha Tech Cave now, seeing how we got five of those. Which way is base? I think it's right around here. Boy, I'll tell you what, those fish, man. Those fish are no joke, man, when they're in packs. 
All right, so we're just now rolling up on base. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn off the mating on these. I don't know how many we're gonna have. It shouldn't be too many. One, two, three, in the mail. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I don't wanna get everybody kind of confused, right? Those, move a little bit faster. <gasps> is he dead? He's not dead. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, that's all it is. <laughs> I was gonna say. Dude, don't tell me you're dead. They're all in gestation. Maybe I'll let them go ahead and do their thing. We'll turn, turn mating off on you though. Might as well get some more little ones. And you, you good sir. Oh man, this is gonna be fantastic. So, drop a little bit of this junk. We are gonna need the hide. Seems how we spent so much making this saddle. And let's go ahead and finish leveling him up since we're here. Maybe we should do 50,000. We'll put the rest into damage. Oh, dude, this guy's gonna be a tank, man. No kidding. We might not even need that 200 armor saddle. We'll pick you up. It'll heal while it's in the soul trap a little bit. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Coming through. So this works out pretty good over here, too. Having the, the two different areas like this. I mean, it's kind of kind of big having the Moses and everything in here. But I, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, we've got quite a few babies to look at, too. Main thing I'm gonna look for is mutations. They don't have mutations, we'll get rid of them, and not mess with them. I'll pick all those guys up after we're done. Let's get all this fish meat into the grill, before it goes bad. I went ahead and picked our otters up, and put our one for, well, let's do the same thing with this. The ones we're taking over to the other island, we're taking that, we're taking that. Wait, what? We can't put alpha parts over there? <gasps> you can't transfer those between islands? Oh, dude, that's not cool. I do want to take him back with us. So that means we are going to have to kill the Alpha Moza over there because I have the Alpha Moza teeth on this map. Or tooth. I have one. One tooth. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's kind of a good thing, but at the same time, it sucks, man. Oh, dude. Well, we're going to have to find some Alpha Megs. And a leads over there. I think there was some anyways. Before we go, let's take a look. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man, that fits us. We are on Lost Island, and we are the captain of our... Well, I mean, we're all kind of on land, so it doesn't really make sense. But not too bad of a day today. We got us the otter that we needed. We've got some fairly good Moses with a very good saddle. And all we have to do now is go over to Lost Island, or sorry, we're on Lost Island. Have to go over to the island, get us some of those alpha parts, and we should be set for doing the alpha tech cave. Hopefully. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.